Hello everyone. My name is Jamie Boulevard. And this, well, this is a documentary about the stunning and beautiful animal known as the swan. The swan is a beautiful creature. And uh, we've been we've been following some swans around for a long while now, trying to figure out their brains, trying to figure out how they work and why they stick to a five miles per hour speed limit. Taking us through this journey will be Lucas Johnson, a local resident who was up for taking us around his town and showing us the local scene of Bedford and all the swans that it has. This is Swans, a documentary. By Yano Sex. Huh? Hey cunts, Michael here. What are swans? We came to the Bedford Swan Hotel to find out. We wanted to find out why the locals loved the swan so much. So, we wanted to go to the famous Swan Hotel to see what the bartender and all the staff think of swans. Excuse me, I think uh, we can ask you some questions about the Swan Hotel as well, of course. Uh, of course. Okay. So, do you know why it's called the Swan Hotel? Uh, no, actually, I don't. You were a fan of swans? Uh, I do like swans, yes, the birds themselves, yeah. They're pretty it's nice. It's quite nice, you get a nice view from here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever just like get distracted when you work in and just like, some swan? No. No, no, uh, no. Um, I mean, we've got quite a um, famous staircase just there. It's brought from uh, a castle from down the road, and they've got it installed it here. It's, it's incredible. Quite a few of our visitors come to look at it. Look at the staircase. Yeah. It's quite weird actually, people coming in like, oh, it's the staircase. Has yeah. a swan ever like gone up the staircase? No. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. That, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Organise it for you? <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, we can yeah. swan yeah. get really casual. Alright, thanks for your time. Yeah. Alright. All right. After wandering around for a bit more in this massive hotel, we decided to try and find the reception. After walking through long corridors and going through miles and miles of housing, we finally found the receptionist. We were going to ask her some questions about swans too. Yeah, right. um, we're we're filming a documentary yeah. for college oh, yeah. about Hi. Bedford and local area. Um, could I ask you a couple of questions quickly about the Swan Hotel? Oh, you got you can. Okay, so do you know why it's called the Swan Hotel? Uh, I assume because there are a lot of swans on the river. Are you a fan of swans? Yeah, they're alright, yeah. I wouldn't, wouldn't really they're pretty approach cool. them. Yeah. They're more than alright, I'd say. I have nothing else to say. That's <laughs> fine. Okay. Thank you for your time. No worries. Swats are all right. Is she fucking mad? And that's it. <laughs> Chapter 2 Saving the Swans. We wanted to go around and try and figure out why people are hating on swans. So we decided to come up with the hashtag, save the swans, to try and find out and see how many people actually love swans and want to save them. Lucas went on a bit of an adventure trying to find some people to talk to, but we came out with a neat little trick that would help us come and face to face with all these, uh, these different people and have their opinions. Despite hundreds of efforts from the public to legalise swans. It's not doing it. The Queen won't listen. We need to legalise swans. Legalise swans? You fat bitch. <laughs> Yeah! 
Legalize swan. Legalize swan. You asked him about legalizing swans? Yeah. Huh? Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking rice gum. Legalized swans, rice gum. Woo! Yeah, it's rice gum. We love your rice gum. Yeah. Fucking that rice gum. Hey man, yeah. you up for the legalization of swans? Swans are legal. So well done. <laughs> Do you think we should legalize swans? Yeah. You big fan of swans? Yeah. You yeah, fuck a swan? No. Oh yeah. Why are you fucking gay? Yeah. I'm gay. It's pretty gay. I know. For you though. <laughs> so how long have you lived in Bedford? Uh, well, I've lived in Bedford nearly all my life. I've been living in town for a couple of years, but I was brought up in Bedford. So. Do you see many swans around? All the time. Yeah. All the time. Pretty hot, aren't they? Damn straight. You have a fucked one? I died. If I said yes, I'd be in trouble. I think we're done here. Ready. Fucking <laughs> piece of shit. I've no clue what the fucking video is gonna be like. <laughs> fucking sad it! So how long have you been an avid swan fan? About two years now. It's pretty gay. Yep. You got a favourite swan? The white ones. Wonder why. You ever fuck a swan? Yup. <laughs> Chapter 3. Hashtag save the swans. This is where we came up with the hashtag for save the swans. And we wanted to find out why everyone wants to save the swans. And the big question is, why do the swans need saving? Lucas has gone around town to try and find out. We also wanted to spy on swans and see how they acted in the public. Seeing how they acted in nature, just, you know, chilling in the, in the rivers and the seas and all that shit. We also decided to vape with the swans. And here you can clearly see the swans are only allowed to travel at 4 miles per hour. Swans are an integral part of Bedford's history. The founder of Bedford, Mr. Swan Bedford, was a swan. Swan! Today we are hunting for some swans. A swan feather! We're on the right track. Holy shit! Look! I think it's from the same bird. Hey! Hey! What do you think about swans? Swans are pretty rad, yeah? Fucking gay. Come on, buddy. I'll save you. Oh, fucking good. We're joining the guns. Doing it for the swan. We're doing it for the swan. <laughs> Look at this swan. Hey, better swans are fucking gay. During the filming of this documentary, we discovered some seriously, seriously tragic things about our host, Luke. We know that Luke raped a swan. This swan in particular was the swan that was raped. He decided to tell us a story. His story. It was, it was pretty, it's pretty fucking sick to be honest with you, mate. Lucas also found out before filming this documentary that Tesco sell fucking swan sandwiches! 
Swan sandwiches, can you believe that? It's incredible. How did they get away with this? Sadly, the swan that was raped by Lucas is still around today and is still suffering. Save the swans. Luke didn't actually care about saving the swans. He just wanted to rape them all. And if he could rape them, he would be happy. This is why he was always on their tail. Despite hundreds of efforts from the public to legalize swans, it's not doing it. The queen won't listen. We need to legalize swans. But as someone in the previous videos already stated, swans are legal. So this little cretin didn't know that the Queen has legalized swans. He only cared about raping the swans. This is the story of Lucas fucking and raping a swan illegally. Do not mistake him for a nice person because of his looks and his charm and his fucking glasses. <laughs> this was a story about exposing Lucas Sharp. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video, uh, we're, we're trying to make more videos like this and uh, we're getting pretty good at it, uh, this video was took fucking ages to edit together so we've been working on it all week long um, and uh, <laughs> it's come out pretty pretty well if I'm completely honest so uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, check out our, old, uh, our other videos and um, yeah that's, that's pretty much it, see you guys in the next one.